what is going on you guys it is your boy Fozo. i'm bringing you guys a brand new video today and today's guys video is how to get better at warzone everybody wants to get better at warzone i want to get better at warzone you want to get better at warzone we all want to get better at warzone but the thing is how do you do it so today's video i'll be going through one of my games of dropping high kills and kind of just breaking it down on why did certain things why did i decide to do this why did i decide to do that and what i could have done better and just overall some easy you know warzone 101 you know tips and tricks kind of thing so let me know if you guys enjoy it let me know um in the comments below if you guys learned something today and um you know i hope you guys enjoy this video okay take it easy guys we'll see you guys in the next video Brian, a little bit but we're not winning so i think we landed super yeah, 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 yeah. super is very nice to start off with a few kills you can always you know if you come out of super normally you can get your loadout right away and getting a loadout right away is extremely 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 um important if you are trying to drop high kills but i want to be very very clear and explain to you guys that you do not have to go super you do not have to go superstar if you want a lot of kills you don't you just don't have to man you can land train station like with this flight path you could go train station man train station um after they opened it up a lot of crates a lot of floor loot a lot of money you can also go hangers you can go so many different places um and you don't always have to go super sort if you want to drop a lot of kills or high kills so keep that in mind let's get into it i kind of want to just skip past well, super just because you just you know i mean you just play super it's kind of like you just go with it so I, i'm not even gonna explain super i think a lot of people already know that so i'm just gonna move ahead to um getting this loadout here at gas station so again this is my dmr and mac 10 loadout right now still even after the nerf they nerfed it um let's see when i'm recording this video it'll be wednesday they nerfed the dmr today on wednesday but it's still a very very powerful gun um you can kind of feel the nerf but you can shoot it so fast to where it just doesn't make a massive difference and so i still think that it's gonna be meta for a while so the thing you should always be um um aware of when you're trying to drop a lot of kills or even in your plane is you want some cash flow right you want to do bounties and you want uavs you know if you're coming out of super you always want to make sure you want the loadout and if you can find enough money for uav that is absolutely perfect that way you have direction you know that way you're not just running around trying to just figure out where people are at because you can always get shot from any direction but you always want direction right you always want to know where you're gonna head where there are people at so we had enough money came out of super I'm with enough money to buy UAV. And then now Symphony heads that way. I go this way. And yeah, having you know cash flow is insanely, insanely, insanely important um when it comes to Warzone. And so, you know, bounty hunting, very, very crucial. Um, I think there's always been like some tournaments where you know one guy will split and then two guys will go bounty hunt just because they can get the, you know the bounty a little bit quicker. So right now I'm just worried about third partying. I think let's see how much how many pings do I have on UAV. I think I have about four or five pings on the UAV. Yeah, there's about four or five pings here. So there's about two teams. So I think a huge goal of mine personally when I play is like I really want to third party. I think part third partying a fight is very, very important. So you always want to be the one shooting people from behind. You don't want to get shot from behind. All right. So I killed two guys here. I get a team wipe. That must mean there's probably more people available. I'm using the DMR. It's insane at range. It's very, very good. And so I'm going to hook around the left here, you know, play a little bit closer, tighter angles and get ready for more players. I look at the UAV. Symphony must have popped the UAV. And I noticed that there's two or three guys in here. So um, alive because I already got one squad wipe. So I'm looking for the for another. So I'm going to approach this nice and slow. Use my tacticals and lethals. I personally use stun grenades more than anything. I just think they're more... I don't know. I, I love sun grenades. So that's just me personally. Here a guy in the hangar. This guy or here I hear a guy in the shack. This guy's completely deaf. He doesn't hear me because I'm well, I am ADS walking, which is very, very quiet. I don't know if it's 100 percent quiet, but it's very, very quiet. He can't hear me. He's expecting me to be outside. He's looking for the kill. And that's a free lick right there. And now I got one kid left from this team. And yeah, so it should be a pretty quick fight. I get behind this thing uh behind this wall here to make sure you know i reload played up if i needed to which i don't but i just want to make sure my gun is reloaded for this one versus one gunfight but going into squad fights i always want to make sure 
um i take down like one guy at a time right so back here when i got this first kill i get this first kill his teammates are probably going to push out of that hangar or sorry out of that warehouse and i just want to reposition i want to be able to you know not challenge from the same spot right you don't ever want to challenge from the same spot you can it's very very risky though because they know exactly where you're at and you always want to get the jump on the enemy right so i'm gonna wrap around i'm an ads walk so that way they can't really hear me because these kids are absolutely deaf and the whole point is just to kill one finish one you know heal reload reposition or even do it all at the same time heal, heal and um reload while you reposition so i heard this guy in here walk right here kill this guy and now i i bob and weave make sure this guy doesn't push me get behind this wall make sure i reload my mac 10 and then now i'm here i'm for the next fight for, ready for the next fight which i heard him to my right hit him with the snap one two magoo done like dinner absolutely baptized and so again uavs man uavs help out the game um you know the high kill games very 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 much so i'm gonna pop a uav i'm gonna buy a self res i'm gonna push these guys at the warehouse for some free free kills so again i want to emphasize or emphasis on the you know always kill one and then reposition and then go for another kill so so right here i'm waiting for this guy out here this is a free kill for me kind of whiffed on a lot of bullets but don't necessarily have to go for the finish reposition this guy looks outside again this comes to the repositioning this guy literally looked outside because he had no idea where i was at yes this guy is an absolute fucking bot but he has no idea man so reposition you know be able to shoot people from behind or you have the jump you have the first few shots in order for them to figure out where you're at so again i hope this information is helpful to you guys i feel like i'm not a very good teacher i feel like i'm not very good at explaining things but i'm trying my best to really give you guys the insight of why i decided to push things and why you know like what was going through my head maybe at some point i'll do like a live um commentary when i'm playing like solos um and explain everything as it's you know happening but it's very hard for me to focus i'm not very good at focusing on two different things um so this is much easier for me so can we keep moving i think i die here i think i actually get knocked here yep this guy hits a snipe on me so this guy hits a snipe on me i hit that stun that way so using your tacticals and lethals are very very um important if you know how to use your tacticals and lethals so i could have thrown a stun maybe throw a nade if it hits him then he's gonna heal he's not gonna re-challenge most of the time Sometimes a good player, sometimes an overconfident player will challenge you right there. But using a stun grenade or even a nade, personally, I like using the stunts because it slows them down. They think I'm going to push them. Using that to back up, to pop more plates and reposition. As you see right there. Sunned them. Perfect. Now reposition. See right there, I think what I could have done differently is... I don't think I knew exactly where all these guys were at, right? And so I'm kind of exposed to a lot of different angles, right? I'm exposed to the guys on the left and all those card head glitches and stuff like that. So maybe what I could have done differently is wrap around, you know, the way I came, wrap around the, the, you know, the other shacks, the other cars and stuff like that. That way the guy that knocked me can't get an angle on me. And there's other guys that I'm looking for that I have no idea where they're at until that specific moment, you know, that way I, you know, I have a jump on them. So this guy knocks me somehow they let me self-res right here these guys are complete idiots no offense but now symphony because he has cash flow because he has money pops a uav for me and i can see all three people on the mini map which gives me so much information and helps me out so the guy that knocked me if you look at the mini map is going to res the guy that i knocked so that gives me so much more time to pop my self-res heal and reposition as i do right here so I see him on the mini map. I see that I'm absolutely good here. So I'm gonna whip, uh, use my tackles and lethals here. Completely fried that first guy for some reason. For some reason, that first guy didn't heal up. So that's a free kill. That's a one hit DMR or like two hits, three hits with a MAC-10. And the other guy I completely fried because I don't think he healed from earlier either after I hit him with um like a DMR shot when he beat me with a sniper. So I killed this close guy. I killed both these kids. And the other guy was up in the window for the UAV earlier. 
Bada boom, bada bing, like it's nothing, ladies and gentlemen, like it's nothing. So I don't think those guys are very good, um, just because they kind of just let me pop myself first and reposition and completely smoke those fools. Let me find a different spot. Let me go into the next gunfight. So again, cash flow, guys, cash flow, cash flow, cash flow. I can't express this enough. Cash flow is very, very important. You want to make sure you want you have a bounty um on at all times, right? So if let's see for this bounty, I'm not sure if this is our if this is our I think it's our first one because you still get three thousand. So this is our first bounty, three thousand dollars to each of us if we um you know kill the bounty. So that's enough almost for a UAV, which is very important. I think the second one goes to like fifty five hundred or something like that. So I see the bounty up top. Use the broken DMR. He decides to over peek it and I get a lucky one tap to the head and the airstrike I think kills him right there. Yep. Easy money for that bounty. And I can, I can res um, symphony right here because of the bounty, because of the cash flow. So again, these guns are extremely broken right now. Um, I actually really like the Mac 10. It's hands down. I think probably my favorite gun right now. But right now it's so hard to use any other guns but the meta um mac 10 you know the diamati pistols i think are still pretty good even after the nerf and also um the dmr is very 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 strong so i think i'm gonna move over here and make sure i get um some ghost when you're so solo splitting um in solo duos solo um solo trios um or even solo quads or even dual quads whatever ghost is very important you got a lot of people rocking heartbeat sensors, which I personally am not a big fan of. Remove them from the game right now. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. <laughs> All right, let's go find a different spot. I think I'm helping out Symphony here. Um, get his loot back. Kill these guys. Um, he's shooting at some guy over here, so I want to make sure that I'm aware of where I'm positioning. So the guy top pink is shooting at other people near green, right? So I wanna make sure that I put myself myself in a position to where I can possibly get kills on both sides, but not put myself in a bad spot to where I can get shot at from both angles, if that makes sense. Wanna put yourself in a better position to steal kills, but also, yep, see this guy peeks me, this guy over peeks with a broken DMR, that's a quick two tap. Even in buildings and I mean, that's this game in, in all is like, even when somebody has high ground on you, it's kind of like the way the mandolin system and the way like looking over buildings works. It's like you have to jump on the ledge or you have to like kind of over peak, which should be a free kill most of the time. But it can still be a pretty nasty head glitch if people know how to use it. So I, I knocked the same guy with a, I'm helping Symphony out here. Basically, I'm throwing my stuns as he pushes. The guy popped his self res, but I threw a nade. And as soon as he popped his self res, then they'd probably hit him. So it knocks him again. And then I throw the stuns, help Symphony out to get those kills. Yep. <laughs> Res that police. So I'm going to go for this kill over here. There's kind of a, a big shit show if I remember over here. There's a lot of people, people in this van. There's also a guy that was in the car. So I'm positioning myself around these rocks to make sure I get all these kills, right? So the whole time, where's my mouse here? So the whole time, I want to make sure that I'm not super visible from police, right? So when this when this van pushes me, I make myself through the rocks and around the rock when I'm fighting this guy. So let me back it up for you. Okay, so I go in between the rocks, but I go on the other side of this rock right here. I go on the other side of this rock right here as soon as I, you know, as soon as he kills me. So on the right side, the rock is right there. That way I cannot get shot from police because I know people are from police. The car was red. There's other people over there. And I'm pretty sure this is the guy that res somebody there. So that's why I decided to do that. Hi, goes to rock. Use the DMR. See where everybody's at. Make sure I heal up. Make sure I reload. And figure out where um, the positioning is or what to do. So... Again, I am pretty exposed out in the open, but I am still behind these rocks, and so I'm not too worried about it. If I get shot at, like it's whatever, because I can still bob and weave behind the rocks, I can heal. Then also it helps me when I get shot at because I know where the other, the other people are at. 
Try and please just away from the peak, maybe. Okay. So again, I see a guy he just rezzed. So now I'm gonna use this um this opportunity because he's running either behind police or he's running in bottom police. So that gives me like I don't know five to seven seconds at least to push up and get closer or to reposition or do whatever I need to. Top green. Heard a guy open up um heard a guy open uh, the door top green so i'm gonna knock this guy close pre-aim because i heard him come down the stairs bada boom bada bang now i'm looking for the guy top green and the other guy and the other guy from that team is the one that they self res so i'm missing two inside i killed the two inside and then the one that is you know gulagging or coming from the sky you guys always want to make sure when you're playing trios or quads or duos that you keep track of every single player right you keep track of every single player so that's two we're missing one player he's the one who just gulagged he's the one who just came back from the res right so always keeping track of the players is extremely important this was the solo we killed the solo in top green like it's nothing dmr extremely broken so again we have money for uavs unfortunately we don't have self-reses as well but I still have a gulag. Symphony doesn't. And I'm able I'm able to see, you know, again, where everybody's at because of UAVs. So I got quick, quick kill right there. Get my finish before um the other guys look at me. So I even up or try evening out the odds as much as possible, right? If I kill one, again, in my previous video a couple months back, it was very, very different because they didn't have self-res in every chest. But now they're self-res in I I feel like almost every chest. I may be wrong, you know, but you know, it feels like it's a lot more common. Everybody has self res So I always want to make sure to get that kill, especially if you're using DMR, it's pretty quick. So even off the odds, don't let that guy get rezzed. Um, and yeah, now I'm pushing a one versus two situation. Move up, reposition, make sure that I can always, so when I was crossing that field, it's a very, very tough spot because if I get shot at, I have nowhere to go. So as you see, I got close to the garage. That way, if I get shot at, if I'm weak, if I'm one shot, I always have, you know, a plan B, you know, I have an exit. I can go in between the garages. I can play a different angle. I can get out of there, you know? So putting yourself in a good spot to also regain and heal is, is a really good idea. So this guy, I got one. So now this is a 1v1 situation. Bada boom, bada bing, like it's nothing. I noticed there was a lot of pings when that UAV was um was up. There's a lot more pings over by dealer. So we work our way over there. I have 2,900 or 2,500. Symphony has 7,900. So that's enough for two UAVs as well. Which I just let Symphony know so I can buy two. Pop UAV, we know exactly where this guy is at. I think we hold this guy for a very long time and he called us a hacker, so. They called me out. I'm pretty sure he called me a pretty nasty word, so. Gonna keep on moving. I go rest symphony, so this at this point we are broke, man. We are broke. I feel like we could have had many, many more kills. And it could have been a better game. If well Symphony did quite buy or die quite a few times. I know three, four times. I think I had a re three times. I think after this, I had a resume. You know, it's nothing against him. And sometimes the games just go like that. But at that situation, you know, that's three more UAVs that we could get. And if you kill more people, they're probably gonna have more money and shit like that. So I also I know people that are doing a recon over here at um, the SOS buildings. You call them recon Randalls. No, so there's a guy top um top block here. We call them different we call them virgin towers but these guys peeking me at these guys are free kills man i'm for these for these buildings right here man especially with the dmr nerf they have to over peak like crazy but i hear a guy that's inside this tower right next to me and so i back up make sure i can't get shot from the big virgin tower on the right side and reposition so i just take this one versus one fight slide around corners Pre-fire, pre-aim. We know exactly where he's at, so we might as well pre-aim. Now I'm pre-aiming because I know people are top tower. I pre-aim top tower, you know? 
like it's all about knowing where people are at it's like location right knowing where people are at at all times you know if you if you do know them right like if you know where they're at always be aware that they're probably still there so right now i'm just trying to shoot get his give him to peek me they must have swapped buildings or towers or they went to go res if you guys saw that he went to go res so they could have went down low to that other res station in between hospital and these towers here so i'm going to this tower because i know that there was a guy here i'm pretty sure i got a free kill here because i stopped power my mac 10 which is extremely op so i kind of just rush out here get this kill actually there was no kill never mind i fast forwarded too quick I think we stall a lot of time. There's 53 people left in fourth circle, guys. Like, let me explain something. That does not fucking happen ever, ever, unless you are in a rare, rare, rare lobby. So I'm guessing the average KD this lobby was not very high. We just got in just one of those God lobbies. It just happens, man. It just, it just happens, right? I have 22 kills, 53 people left. Um, I'm gonna work towards this bounty. That way I can work towards, um, that way we can get some more cash flow from our UAVs and figure out where we're gonna head after this. So I always have direction always have direction i can't express that enough having uavs or bounties gives you direction gives you something to play for in the game and you know where you know where you're gonna go other than just you know wandering around driving around figuring out where you're gonna go stopping power saved my life right here stopping power right there saved my ass i had no idea that there was a guy to my right thank god or else that would not have ended well for me drop shotted because i was already like kind of in the in in the shits right there i was at a disadvantage this guy had to jump on me and i have no plates anymore because of the um bouncing betty so i was being able to either drop shot jump shot you know helps a lot with gunfights so i drop shot make sure i didn't get hit with um that bouncing betty as hard it actually only took off one plate i thought it took off the whole all the plates but since i proned out didn't do as much damage we get a lot more cash money from killing these guys because the bounty and these guys also drop me more cash as well so i have enough for self-res uav and symphony has enough for self-res or uav unless this guy's close and he absolutely chokes this guy choked so hard so again i think having i mean a good reaction time right here i decided to jump shot this guy like jay god says absolutely disgusting so again guys this might be a little bit longer video um again i hope this is some insightful information of why i decided to push things why i decided to do this um also just kind of just simple knowledge of of call of duty warzone and so again i hope it helps if it helps let me know down low in the comments below i really really would appreciate that if there's anything else you guys think i could do better again this is my second time ever doing this so i hope to do more let me know if you guys want me to do more because i will if you guys liked it you know what i mean so again this was very uncomfortable for me to do just because i'm not used to it and i don't have a lot of experience with it so um again let me know what you guys think let me know what i could have done better and let let me know if i helped out in any way you know because sometimes it's it's just that one thing that somebody else says that may help you out in any situation right so again i hope i helped out we're gonna fast forward here and um move forward a little bit here grab this car Get over since there's nobody close we popped another uav there was nobody close move towards promenade we got nothing we might be able to cut off some people here at promenade if not then we really start working hospital right now fifth circle is about to happen there are 37 people left 37 people left 25 kills i really wish i could have dropped 40 i feel like if we had a little bit more cash flow and you know a few more uavs you know a few more you know a little bit more direction right All right, so let's see. I push into this building here. I don't, there's nobody over there, but there were people shooting over here by the promenade building. Sorry, I muted the volume here. I get hit by every bounce of Betty in the game. Make sure that there's nobody on the stairs holding me. And there were people fighting over here by this garage. So that's a free kill. That's one squad wipe, but there might be more people available. That might not be the only guy. So always being aware that there might be another team there. I turn my back. See, this is a really bad position. I shouldn't put my... My back against all those guys at red because there still might be more people over there but notice if you look at the circle or look at the mini map that majority of the circle 
is all of hospital and the bridge and the ravine so if you look at it a lot of people next circle are definitely gonna have to come out of downtown because i'm pretty sure it just centers if not it'll it should pull more towards hospital that gives me and symphony an opportunity to post up on hospital and just go go to town man i know those people over here by the by the vehicles use my tacticals and lethals here that guy gets stunned that's a free kill and he was not happy about that stun grenade now i'm gonna go up that the the escalator here or whatever you want to call it <clears throat> the elevator get better positioning on pretty much the rest of the lobby i'm pretty sure is if this is what happens i know there's people over here so if you guys again if you look at the circle all of downtown except for just a little bit has to come out um just out in the open basically so next circle once fifth circle closes just being aware of where you're at being aware of the end circles you we are going to be in better positioning we are going to be in the alpha positioning for this game so if we get high ground especially with dmrs we just go to town get a finish over get a knock over there put a cluster on them that should be a free kill and now at this point we see all these people starting to move out of downtown we see snipers over here and right now it just comes down to just having i don't know man just just good aim you know what i mean just being able to use the dmr the way it's meant to be used which is it's so broken it's so broken but i'm on a nasty head glitch all these guys are worried about rotating but i can also over peak this because i have self res so if i get sniped it is what it is you know if i get sniped boom i can pop self res i think we cleared pretty much everything behind us if i do die from behind you know i want i want all these kills man i'm kill hungry i want all of them so that's why i'm very um kill hungry right now i'm just frying dude i'm just going to town dude 31 kills 16 people left my dog is whining so if you guys again look at zone all of these guys from downtown have to push across the ravine and so again now we're kind of in a situation to where i don't know what's gonna happen here i think i get knocked by this airstrike dude so the way the airstrikes work i'm pretty they're pretty sure they're like rng of like which way they come through and it just so happened that our, that airstrike just nailed me perfectly right it came in down at the right angle and just perfectly hit me and i was so pissed i was so pissed i cannot believe that happened right because i was not like how does the first one hit me but the second one doesn't <laughs> it doesn't make any sense so right here i just want to make sure i prone out heal up and what i would have done so i think i die right here get these kills these guys are still safe up top so what happened is i dropped down low which i should not have dropped down low right here i should not have done this i go in here i still have a stun and two nades and i had no idea so i thought about making a lap with my gas mask quick through the through the hospital but right there right here what i could have done if i was aware of how many tacticals and lethals i had i banked them off the i banked them off this off this door right here if i throw a stun right there i could easily go in and get a free two-piece that's a free two-piece again maybe you have a heartbeat sensor or whatever but i just wasn't completely aware that there were people below me i should have stun checked it or or just went off the other side of the roof towards under the big tower i know people are up at the tower i just hit them a few times they're not going to peek me i should make my way towards under the tower because that is what's safe that's what's in the safe zone and that's probably what the smart play was or i just simply wait for safe zone to inch in towards the edge of that building up top and i just prone up behind it and just go in with my gas mask but that's what i would have done differently i die right here i could easily bank the stun off got both these kills but i, I didn't think these guys were going to challenge me I thought maybe I could have made a play, maybe go through the hospital or something with my gas mask, but but yeah. So that's what I would have done differently. I think I ended up the, the game with 33 kills, which is insane. That's a lot of kills. Um, and yeah, it it was a it was a really good game. It was a crazy lobby, not a very good lobby, not with a lot of good players. So again, guys, thank you guys all for coming through um the video today. Again, again, again. I hope it helped in some way, shape, or form. I'm not used to doing these, so it was kind of uncomfortable for me to do. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys learned something. 
and again in the comments below let me know if you um um want some more of these videos or if it helped or anything like that okay so take it easy guys hope you guys have a great day hope you guys have a great night and um we'll see you guys in the next one okay take it easy